Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial and today's tutorial is about this um, very easy uh, beanie and uh, maybe the pom-pom I would have done it bigger uh, more fluffy but uh, I can change that later on and today's video is a collab video between my channel and uh, Brunatically channel I will drop the link of her channel in the description box also you can find uh, on her channel uh, the tutorial about the scarf and so we just exchanged our works i think she's a very talented person and uh, so i will uh, put her channel also to my related channel so you can find her there and i will recommend you to go and check out her channel definitely so if you are interested to do this beanie you can just follow my tutorial over here this is a very easy beanie to do or if you are interested to uh, do the scarf that uh, she is doing you can just check her channel and the tutorial is online there and if you are in my channel because recommended my channel from uh, Bruna then uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial and I hope you like my tutorials and what I have uploaded until now and if it's something that you are interested in just um, make sure to subscribe and with all these things being said I just want to start explaining to you a little bit how this works I have used a yarn that is 30% wool and 70% uh, polyacrylic uh, I will drop the link in the description box and this is a very easy stitch to do and also I have used a 5.5 mm hook uh, I will drop also the link in the description box with all these things being said let's just get into it for this project I am going to use uh, these two colors I will drop the link in the description box about the material and this kind of thickness I am going to use a 5.5 mm hook. First, I will start with the beige color. This is a woman's head and I tried for my own head and so my size is 57 cm. Uh, but uh, I will drop for you the sizes somewhere here. You can see the sizes S, M, L which are kind of like universal sizes but you can take your own measurements and then use your own uh, size the length that i want i don't want a very tall beanie so for my measurements i will make 30 stitches for the base and then i will make another three stitches for the double crochet so in total i will start with 33 stitches first let's make a slip knot <laughs> make 33 chains and now we're going to start making a double crochet so we will yarn under and then we will insert the hook at stitch number four so one two three four yarn under pull through yarn under pull through two loops yarn under pull through the next two loops so we will just keep doing the double crochet until the end together with the chain stitch here we must have 30 double crochet okay so i did 29 double crochet at the last double crochet i will yarn under and then i will insert the hook yarn under pull through yarn under and pull through two loops at the last two loops i'm not gonna yarn under with this color but i will insert this color and i will leave the beige color and i will pick the blue color yarn under the blue color and pull through so now i will go back with the blue color pattern will be like this uh, three chains one two three turn around yarn under and i will do a double crochet but the double crochet i will do it from the back of the stitch i will insert the hook to the front to the side and like this you can see and then yarn under and pull through and pull through again now yarn under pull through two stitches yarn under pull through two loops the last two loops this is how it is going to be so let's go and do a double crochet but always uh, by inserting the hook from the back of the stitch if you see this v here i want to bring it to the front so this is 
of the stitch that I'm going to work with. So let's do it again. Yarn under, insert the hook from the back to the front, to the side of the stitch. Yarn under, pull through and pull through the other loop here. So now we have three loops, yarn under, pull through two loops, yarn under, pull through the last two loops. This is how it is going to be. We will work like this until the end, until we have 30 double crochet. We came till the end, I did the stitch and uh, I have 29 double crochet here. I wanted to show you how am I going to close the end. So we are under and here I don't have a stitch actually. So I will insert from the back to the front of this stitch, the last stitch, and then from the front to the back of one of one of the chains, okay? And then yarn under, pull through, pull through again, and then yarn under, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. So here now I have my 30th uh, double crochet, okay? And I didn't change because uh, the pattern is one row with the beige and three rows with the blue. So I will just turn like this, three chains, one, two, three, turn around and then I will just do this stitch on the way back with the blue color, okay? So we are under and then from the back of the stitch to the front, I will insert the hook and to the side here. So I will insert it like this and then yarn under, pull through and pull through here. So now I have three loops and I will just do a double crochet. And this I am going to do all the way back. And this is how it is going to look like. I'm going to do that for another two rows. Here is the finished uh, row, the third one and at the last one, as I told you, I will change the color. But before I finish the 30th one, I want to fix here. So first I will cut the beige and then I will I will secure well and then I can use this uh, yarn to the other side. And then at the end we will see how we are going to fix it and hide all this all these ends. So now we are going to use the yarn to the other side. So first I will insert yarn under and I will insert the hook from the back to the front and to the stitch that I have here, this stitch, yarn under, pull through, pull through, and yarn under, pull through two loops. And to the last loop I'm gonna change the color. So I will make a knot with a beige color, like this, pull and then just pull it a little bit further. Okay, just leave the end loose at this side and now pick the uh, beige color. So we will yarn under to the uh, beige color and we will pull through two loops. So now we change the color and we can continue with the, we can continue the row working with the beige color. So this one we can just cut. And now we just make chain three one, two, three, turn around and then we just work with a double crochet. This one we will secure by making a knot between the both of them, two colors. And now we just work your way back with a double crochet as with a stitch that I told you. So we will just make one more row with a beige and then we will change the color again to the blue one and we will have three rows with the blue one. So the pattern will just repeat itself with one row beige and three rows in blue. Okay guys, so here is the finished uh, part. Uh, I crocheted it about 48 cm, you can see here. About 48 cm is uh, the length, but the length uh, without stretching. So I left it like this because I tried on my head and uh, with a stretch it was around 55 cm, which was okay for my head, so I must S size. I did 27 rows 
and uh, I usually do three rows with blue and one row with beige but at the last one I did uh, just two rows with blue uh, because I didn't need any more uh, rows. Okay, so now I will just attach this side with this other one. You can attach at this side or you can attach from this side. It's the same. Both sides are the same. I will insert the hook at the first stitch. The stitch, I will just pull it through. Beige the stitch. Okay adjust them and put them in the right place so now we are just going to work like this insert the hook at the first stitch here and also at the first stitch at the blue side yarn under pull through pull through again and this way we will have this eight shape this eight shape here and also on the other side so the next one just insert here to the beige side the next stitch and to the blue side and under pull through and pull through through the blue loop so we're just gonna work like this so the last stitch is gonna be like this but i want to insert the hook also to the chain here and the beige Okay, to the second chain and also to the second chain at the blue side here because I want to attach them very well. Like this. Okay, so now we are done. So the attachment is going to look like this. We can just put this at the back of our head so you cannot see exactly, but I think you can't really see that here is uh, an attachment. So what I'm gonna do next is just uh, yarn under, pull through the yarn like this. The leftover yarn I'm not gonna cut because I will, um, now I will make the part where I am going to put the pom-pom. For that I'm gonna use this kind of needle. Once I have the yarn in place, I can start sewing and it's going to be like this. I will put the yarn underneath from the back. If you see here, I have the double crochet here. So from the back, I will insert to the front, just like this. Okay, so this will be hidden. And here I have three chains. I will insert from the front to the back, to this. And here to the next uh, row, I have another three chains here, from the back to the front. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so once I am at the last one, this is the first, if you see the yarn here, and then the yarn over here, so this is the last one. Now we are just going to pull. Don't worry about the ends. This one you can fix later or not fix at all. <laughs> so once we pulled very well and I'm going to uh, sew here. Don't worry about this because this is going to be the in part. So if you turn around like this, so if you turn around, it's going to look like this. Just put them in the right place with your hand, so they will be one by one. Okay, here is the bini. This is how it's going to look like here. From the inside here, uh, we can just uh, secure one more time all of the uh, ends. They are pretty tight, I think, but you can secure them more and then just uh, cut them. And now. What is left is uh, this part here. Here I am going to do a very simple single crochet border. I am going to just simply insert the hook in one of the beginnings and then under, pull through. I will just make a chain and I will pull it very, very tight. So now I have a knot here and it won't be loose. Once I have the knot in the place and I have also a slip knot, I can just uh, start crocheting a single crochet 
and I will suggest you in the same time hide these loose ends. Hide whatever you can. At the end, maybe you can uh, trim whatever is left over. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do a single crochet, insert the hook, yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through two loops, just like this. And again, I'm gonna do two in each hole, two single crochet. And to the next connection, I will insert in between. And in the same time, I am hiding all the loose ends. So the next row is here. So here in the middle, I'm gonna do two single crochet. Now I will go between the two rows and I will insert the hook. And now to the next row, in the middle I will have two single crochet. This is the pattern that I'm going to follow. In the middle two single crochet and one single crochet where is the connection bet between two rounds. So I'm gonna do this all around. Okay, so I finished single crochet all around and now I will insert the hook at the first single crochet we did, yarn under, pull through and pull through again. And I am going to do the same one more time and cut so this one I am going to hide and then just trim and I will trim also these uh, little loose ends that are also leftovers and then we are just going to attach the pom-pom up here 